all the neighbors of Pakistan, this is the one country that all the neighbors are upset with it because of its support to terrorist causes. I mean, what can be a better proof of being a terrorist state? It's surprising that uh, Iran says that it fired missiles and Pakistan couldn't detect them. They couldn't detect at the time of Balakot. They couldn't detect at the time of Osama bin Laden. Here is this nuclear power, nuclear country, nuclear weapons country. And you wonder what is uh, the kind of uh, defense system and mechanisms that they have. First of all, I think if you see it in a larger perspective, uh, Pakistan has been sending terrorists into India and any terrorist camps. Afghanistan has accused Pakistan of for supporting the Taliban for 20 years. You know, the Quetta Shura was very much in Pakistan. And now Iran. So, you know, and the Chinese are not very happy with Pakistan, the Uyghurs taking sanctuary in Pakistan. So all the neighbors of Pakistan, this is the one country, that all the neighbors are upset with it because of its support to terrorist causes. I mean, what can be a better proof of being a terrorist state? Second, you know, it's surprising that uh, Iran says that it fired missiles and Pakistan couldn't detect them. They couldn't detect at the time of Balakot. They couldn't detect at the time of Osama bin Laden. So here is this nuclear power, nuclear country, nuclear weapons country. And you wonder what is uh, the kind of uh, defense system and mechanisms that they have. And there is also, Pakistani statement also says, violation of airspace. So there can be missiles, but it is not yet clear whether Iran also used aircraft. Uh, to. So it's a, uh, you know, big uh, targeting of uh, violation of Pakistan's sovereignty and the response to Pakistan has been just issuing a statement, a very weak statement in that. Uh, regarding the statement itself we'll talk about and uh, they said uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Pakistan said Pakistan strongly condemns the unprovoked, uh, unprovoked violation of its airspace by Iran and strike inside Pakistani territory which has resulted in the death of two innocent children while injuring three girls. And this violation of Pakistan's sovereignty is completely unacceptable now. Uh, can have serious consequences. What kind of consequences can we expect? No, this is just a normal knee-jerk reaction. You see, this happened last night. It's been over 12 hours now. So, so far, the pa Pakistan has not... I'm not saying they may not. They may. But so far, it's been a very, very... Apart from issuing the statement, and they've closed the internet in Pakistan. That's the only reaction uh, that has uh, come so far. And in the case of Balakot, you remember, they said that a crow was killed. And here, at least, they're saying the two children... I think if you watch the social media, the casualties are likely to be more. But whether these casualties are of the so-called militants or of uh, uh, Pakistani, uh, if they were in camps, they'll be in, you know, close to at least Pakistani army camps. So we'll have to wait and see because right now the situation is not very clear. Uh, regarding when it comes to Bala code, they never accepted there was a terror, a terror infrastructure. Uh, when it comes to Iran, the strikes, they never accepted there was any kind of a terror infrastructure. Uh, despite the terror sanctuary which the Pakistan has become, uh, what is your take? Because they will never accept that fact. Yeah, because, you know, they can't uh, openly uh, accept the fact. I mean, they'll be declared a terrorist state. But the fact of the matter is that all the neighbors, as I mentioned, India, Afghanistan, now Iran, in fact, Iran is telling me, telling them for a long time that you have bases. It has carried out, uh, you know, uh, attacks earlier too, but not openly declared. This time they've gone openly. And I think one of the reasons for this is that if you remember in December, there was a major attack in one of the Iranian um, towns where about 100 people died. Mm -hmm. And the ISKP, Islamic State Khorasan province, had claimed credit for it. Mm -hmm. And ISKP has got very close links with the ISI and uh, could also having uh, uh, some facilities in uh, Balochistan. So I think that Iran decided that this is enough is enough because they also have to tell the people that it's not that anybody can come and uh, do an attack over here and we don't retaliate. So this is probably in retaliation for that uh, particular attack. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.